Right, everyone, fan reaction time then. Burnley 2, Portsmouth 1, and I've just been editing Viz's fan reaction, and I think he sums it up perfectly when he says, Jesus Christ, we don't... We like to make it hard work for ourselves, don't we? And that's exactly what it was. It was hard work and it was unnecessary hard work. But to be fair to Portsmouth, I will give them some credit. They came with a game plan and they executed it perfectly. I've seen people say, you know, it's difficult to break down a team that just sits back. They didn't just sit back to be there. I think, I think the reason why we struggled against them and we struggled to create was more our own fault than theirs because we weren't quick enough with the ball. This is in the first half, the first 60 minutes. We weren't quick enough with the ball. We weren't good enough in possession. We just weren't moving it like we can do. And we've seen them. I mean, to be fair, we've not seen them do it too much this season, move it very well. There has been some questions about how slow we are with the ball uh, and how poor we are in possession. But a win's a win. But anyway, we'll, I'll, I'll get on to that. But what they did very well, Portsmouth, is they pressed us quite well. I'll give them that. And I, and I think we struggled with their press and us being quite slow with the ball. I just felt like we showed a couple of years ago under Vincent Company that when teams would sit back, we'd just pick them off. I remember when Preston just put two banks of four in front of the 18-yard box and we'd dicked them 3 nil anyway. Um, but then if a team would press us, we'd just pass it around them. We could play against any style uh, that year. But having said that, we're, what, five, six games in at this stage now? When we were only five, six games in last time, we weren't that good and we've actually had a better start this time than what we did last time. It's been well documented, but we have more points at this stage than what we did last time. Um, but the uh, point I'm trying to make is give credit to Portsmouth. I thought they pressed us quite well uh, and they made it difficult to play around them. Um, and, and, and we were poor with the ball, like I said. Like Apart from the goals, there weren't really too many chances. The bit, there's been some people complaining in previous weeks about how how low the XG is, how low the chance creation is. I know some people don't like the XG stat, but it depending on the on, on the way the metric is measured, because it's measured differently by different people, it can be a good way of 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 judging the quality of the chances that you you're creating. And we didn't create any chances today, really. Even the goals we scored were were both sort of like not long range efforts, if you will, but not a not a clear cut chance. Two good finish. Well, Sarmiento is a brilliant finish, an absolutely brilliant finish. Um, reminded me of Manuel Benson, sort of just cutting in and bending it in. That's what that reminded me of. Brownhill, what is Will Norris doing? Like, I'm glad it's gone in, obviously, uh, and it's you know he's done well, Brownhill, to get the shot away. He's, you know, there's a lot of bodies in the box, and he's managed to get through them decent. But Will Norris, man, like make a dive. Like he just watches it go in. I'm not complaining. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd address that before I get into it because I know some people will just be buzzing with the win like I am. But also some people I've seen on Twitter are discussing the style of play and that. So I just wanted to say that personally. I could, right now, I couldn't care less. Uh, three points in the bag, buzzing with it. it. Reminded me a lot of Rotherham. You remember a couple of seasons ago when uh, Derby Sogalu got that winner in the what, 100th minute, I think it was. It reminded me of that. Not quite as dramatic, but similar sort of style. They got in front. We struggled to break them down. We then get the equaliser and they, we then push on and uh, and go and get the winner. Uh, and you know what? Um, I've, I've, give credit, I've give credit to Portsmouth and I'm going to criticise them now because... If they hadn't have been wasting so much time when that game was on, they were. Remember that sub? They made a double sub, didn't they? And this is how long the double sub made, uh, took. They made that double sub, and my little boy was busting for the toilet. So I quickly said, Right, come on, quick, let's go now. And we ran downstairs, proper fast, zoomed. Like, I'm like, I don't want to miss a goal, I don't want to miss it, because I missed the. I missed one last week, I don't know if I mentioned it. I missed the Coley Osho winner at least last week. So I'm rushing and I'm rushing. And we get back upstairs. And the second player's only just coming on. I was like, what? How long are they taking with this? And I went, when I went and sat down, the girl next to me was like, oh, they're taking ages with this. And like, I can tell they've not even completed a double sub. So they were time-wasting like mad. And it's always, always brilliantly sweet, isn't it? When a team time-wastes and we get the winning goal in added time. The added time that they've created from their time-wasting. So... That's karma. You can have that, Portsmouth. Safe journey home, lads. They'll be, they'll be, they'll be, they'll be watching this now, if, if there are some Portsmouth fans watching. I know opposition fans do sometimes like to dive on it. Probably around Bristol. Uh, not that you go that way. Um, probably around, what, London, I reckon, around now. Um, so, yeah, still got a couple of hours 
lads, haven't you? Um, in fairness to the Porto fans, I was not expecting that many. Um, I thought they travelled very well. They made a lot of noise. Probably the best away fans we've had at the turf this season because Blackburn were quiet. Cardiff, to be fair, didn't have much to shout about. Um, but Pompey filled the away end, which, number one, I was surprised. I've never seen Portsmouth fill that away end before, ever. Um, and which you'd expect because it's, you know six hours away whatever it is i can't remember i have done fratton park before but that were in 2001 uh, so i can't remember how long it took us to get there um but uh yeah credit to the Portsmouth fans i thought they were decent and uh, just going back to the game though um scott parker he's addressed recently this style of play and he does say that we will get better with, and, and, he, and he uses the term free flowing by the way it's not a term that i'm just putting on him he has said the term we will get more free flowing if you will uh and and again, I know I've already referenced it, but let's cast our mind back, our minds back to the year we won the championship under Vincent Company. We were poor at the start. Like we were so many sideways passes, messing it around with it at the back, not really doing anything. We drew it home to Hull, we drew it home to Stoke, we lost away to Watford, we drew it home to Blackpool. We just weren't doing very well. We've started better in terms of results this time than what we did last time. I know I've already referenced that, but I wanted to mention it again. But also, this time we're winning games. Last time we weren't, and we weren't playing well last time at this stage. You could see what they were trying to do last time. You could see that they were trying to create chances, which I guess you could say there's a lot of umming and ahhing and a lot of cautious team selections. And that's another thing I want to come on to. I do think the team selection was a little bit cautious, and I feel like the subs on the 60th minute mark, Sarmiento and Fleming that came on, they changed the game. They were fantastic, both of them. Um, Fleming didn't really, you know, he, he, he didn't really do anything of note, if you will, but he, he put himself about, he made things happen, and I think them two should be starting. I like Hannibal. I think I've said this on the 60 second review or on Twitter, I can't remember. I do like Hannibal, and I think he's going to be perfect for the away games at places like Leeds because he played very well there, putting himself about winding the opposition up, you know, away games at Bramble Lane, you know, the Hawthorns, you know, he's going to be perfect for them kind of games. But in a game where you have a lot of the ball and it, the onus is on you to make things happen, you've got to to take the game to the opponent. I don't think Hannibal's that player. I think he's, he's better for the games where we want him to break the player down, we want him to put himself about, we want him to do a bit of shit housing and, and that sort of thing. I don't think today was the game for him. I think I said on Twitter that I would have started Fleming um, and I would have put Fleming in the 10, uh, Foster up front uh, with Antoinette and Corley Osho on the wings. I'd probably start Sarmiento now next week against Oxford, if I'm honest. And then again, you've got a, a, a decent wing with Antoinette to come off the bench. Um, and uh, Cullen and Brownell in the midfield. What I will say... I criticised the substitution when Cullen went off and Laurent came on. Laurent was brilliant. He came on, he made things happen. Cullen did look a little bit sluggish today. I'm not sure if it's because he's coming back from the injury. Somebody did mention that he looked like he was playing like he was. He had a knock. I didn't really see that myself. Obviously, being on the game, it's sometimes difficult to see. I'm not sure if the person who said that was watching on TV or whatever. Uh, and one more thing. Fort Lyle wasn't great today. Loved the man. Um, wish him all the best as, as you know I always feel like I have to put that out there with Lyle um, but I didn't think he was great today um, I would have taken him off personally but obviously he stayed on um, but yeah that's my thoughts on the game all I'm bothered about a lot of people at the minute morning on, on the style of play that's just why I mentioned that for a little bit so I just wanted to say that um, all I'm bothered about is the three points we've got the three points we've started well we're up to third alright if Blackburn beat Preston tomorrow we'll drop that back down to fourth they probably will Preston are dreadful um, but it's a great start from, I know I've referenced it already, but let's look at where we were a couple of seasons ago and we are better in terms of points at this stage now and we're only going to get better in my opinion. I do think the football will come. I do think it will get a bit better when the lads know each other a bit more. There are some sections of the fan base that are a little bit worried. I'm not at the minute. I'm not at the minute. If we start like throwing points away and losing games, you know, and struggling to break teams down and then ending up in like fifth, sixth, seventh, then maybe. But for now, let's just enjoy the win. Let's just enjoy the win. Uh, one more thing before I go, because my arm is getting very tired. Um, I don't know his name, but shout out to the gentleman that I saw on the stairs when I said I was rushing back from the, uh, the my little boy needing the toilet um, earlier. Because I, great parenting, by the way. Took him to the toilet, left him, like, right, I'll be upstairs, need to watch a game. 
didn't want to miss anything. Um, some guy came up to me and he said, uh, just want to say I, I love the vlogs and I love the podcast and that sort of thing. I'm like, oh, brilliant, thank you. He's like, I'll be watching tonight and, and, and this weekend. I said, hopefully it's not a miserable one then because this performance hasn't been great. And he said, this is when it will 1-1. And he said, we'll win this match, mate. I'm telling you now, we'll win this match. I'm like, oh, I wish I had your confidence, mate. So I just want to give a shout out to him. Apologies, I didn't get his name. He was an older gentleman. I hope he doesn't mind me saying that. I'm not sure if he watches the fan reactions or listens on the podcast, but I'll give a shout out to him tomorrow as well. So shout out to that man. Wish I had your optimism, mate, because you ended up being spot on. But three points in the bag, that's all that matters. Up the clarets.